you have a little piano drum sort of thing going on here and maybe I might slope speed it up a little bit or and then maybe I might go in here. Hey, what's going on guys, Chordmaster here. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about these two pieces of equipment here, the Nord Piano 5, which may be cut off a little bit, but this is the Nord Piano 5 and the OP1 Field. And um, what I've been doing and having a ton of fun with is sampling the piano without using a direct cable, but just using the microphone. I actually just made a video talking a little bit about um, sampling with the internal mic compared to an external one. I will link that in the description and maybe put the card up. You guys know the drill. I usually don't do that, but I will try to remember to do so. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, it'll be down there. Um, also the card thing, like why put that there? Because I don't want you to click that and leave this video, right? I want you to look at it afterwards. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's because if you're watching this and then you're like not as interested, you have you have a way out to go into another uh, video of the same creator. In any case, I wanted to talk a little bit about this. So I'm going to turn the volume down. And what I've been doing is like any chord progression that I that I know well. I can just like just immediately go in here, hit the mic and turn the in the the start point the end point like after any other stuff that i have created by just doing stop and write at the same time that just goes to the very end of the tape where you have stuff that you created so far and just start recording i mean quickly check my levels that looks pretty good right levels look pretty good and then i'm just going to go in here and i'm just going to kind of show you guys actually sorry it wasn't recording now it's recording But let's let's do let's do something like this. Let's do this one instead. another one and then start the next one that way you can now go in here and hit stop and turn the volume up and i'll show you what i what i do here once it starts so you hear that so what i'm going to do is wait till it actually i'm going to go to the I'm going to wait till the end of the first time playing this and I'm going to time it and hit in right at the start of the next one and hit out right at the end of the next one. And then I'm going to have a loop. Hopefully that that sounds decent and I'll show you what I do next. All right, so right here. There's a loop endpoint. I'll let it go again and try to time it as close as you can through three, four. So that I think is a perfect loop. So check this out now. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but this should be a perfect loop that I just recorded on here. And then I'll show you what you can do after. So that's a perfect loop. So we're on track one. Now, I might go in here because that's a little, as you can see, the level's a little low. So if I had headphones on or something, I might, I might even go into the mixer. Whoops, oh, I'm still getting it exact, but there. And then shift and then turn this up. About there, right? And then come in here and find some drums. Those are fine. I don't know, we'll just go with something like this, just for the sake of what we're working on. I wouldn't put this here. Um, I guess I can put it right back here. 
even though to reach over and I don't know if this is still in frame or not but anyway I would have this somewhere I'll, I'll put it here I know that this is in frame so check it out Right, there we go. So you have a little, you have a little piano drum sort of thing going on here. And maybe I might slope speed it up a little bit or. And then maybe I might go in here and go to the third and find something, maybe some bass. You can't really hear the bass because it's just coming out of here, but maybe something like this. Oh yeah, so I would probably go back into here. You get the idea. Um, essentially, what I kind of discovered with this is this piece of equipment here, guys, it's $2,000. It can do a whole lot of different things, right? You have your sequencers in it. You have um, for drums and for synth in here, you have your sampling capabilities within the radio or an aux in or just through the mic like I'm kind of showing you guys right now. Uh, you have a lot of intricacies for performance like jumping from uh, where you're at right in time to the next part of the loop or the next, yeah, the next loop um, point through the tape tracks and stuff. So there's like a lot of, and that's just a few things. Uh, sound design, of course, uh, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention being able to shape. Shaping sounds and stuff. But what I've noticed is that instead of thinking about um, figuring out how or what is the right way to use this. And let's make sure I'm still recording, which I am, thankfully, always gotta check. Um, but yes, instead of like thinking about what is the right way to use this, I'm more about using this the way that is fun for me. And right now, there's probably two main areas that are the most fun and just natural with this, and that would be sampling just with the microphone or even sometimes with the direct cable but i like the sampling with the microphone a little better because it's just it's just no uh what's the word it, it's no pressure i mean it's never any pressure but it, it's like you just put it there and just do it i don't have to go look for a cable i don't have to think about like in this case this only has one output and i prefer using this piano with the with speakers and not with headphones and i would need to unplug that plug it in here, and I, I don't like doing that. That takes away from creativity for me, um, especially for the music that I make. Like, if we're talking about something that's, I don't know, professional grade or something, then obviously I would, you know, connect it in and, and maybe do it that way. But just for messing around and kind of experimenting, this is a lot of fun. So this is one area. And then the other area, guys, is um, pretty much connecting either my iPad or my via USB to USB-C. USB-C to USB-C or USB-C to Lightning um, and just recording parts of my favorite songs onto various tapes for like, you know, 10 seconds and then, you know, here's another 12 seconds or whatever and then doing that same loop thing and then just kind of like performing it, maybe even more than maybe 30 seconds of the song so I can jump around and um, just kind of doing that. It's just, a, it's, a, it's fun because it's a different way to experience music that I love. I'm kind of like remixing stuff that I'm used to hearing and making it sound different with the effects on here, pitch shifting and all that stuff in real time. So those are the two areas for me. The area that I don't have as much fun with the OP1 field currently is like saying, I'm going to create something from scratch on here using the built-in sounds, um, whether, you know, using the sequence or using whatever, that's an area that I want to get better at so that I can just kind of have just this device by itself and not have something else like this or my iPad, but I'm not there yet. And that's okay. On the OPZ, I can do that. And that's all I do on there. I just, I make stuff only on that piece of equipment. I don't really connect it to anything. 
Um, but yeah, I guess just leaning into what feels right, I guess the moral of this story. Um, so I just wanted to record this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully some of you guys got some value out of it. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Take care.